as we headed back from Cape York, we decided to take a detour along Battle Camp Road and have a look at the old Laura homestead. After getting back to Cooktown, we decided to have a better look around. We went and had a look at the new foreshore development. Cooper couldn't resist having a go at the new water park. Once stocked up, we headed south to camp at Archer Point. Although it was windy, it was worth it for the views. When we got back to Cairns we decided to get some schoolwork done so we headed to the Sky Rail and the Scenic Railway. After having an amazing view of the rainforest below from the sky rail, we decided to join the tour and learn some more about the rainforest below. After having a look around in the village and stopping for something for lunch, we decided to head back to the scenic railway and continue our journey back to Cairns. It was a long day and some of us were feeling a little bit more tired than others. After a few days rest we decided to continue heading west until we got to the town of Chiligo.
We then went to the information centre and found out about the amazing network of caves that were outside the town. We signed up for a tour and headed out for a look. Unfortunately, we lost some of our GoPro footage after a technical error. Fortunately, Cooper was able to save the day with his own footage. We finished the tour and then felt brave enough to do some exploring of our own. Once we'd finished at the caves, it was time for our free camp at the Cockatoo Hotel Motel. We had a drink with all our friends. It was soon time to keep moving, so we looked at wiki camps to find our next destination. We found O'Brien Creek Campground which was about 40 kilometers along a very corrugated track. The van held together and it was worth it for the swim at the end.
After surviving another 40 kilometres of corrugations, we were back on the main road. This time we stopped at Georgetown for a quick break. A great discovery was the historic town of Croydon. We stayed at the Rodeo Ground which was only $5 a night. Croydon has restored many of the buildings that were built in its mining heyday and it was a great opportunity for the kids to do some history. was once home to many Chinese immigrants. We had a look at the ruins of the old village and then went to have a look at the Chinese cemetery. We set up at Sunset Caravan Park at Corumba Point and it didn't take long for the kids to find the swimming pool. We spent the afternoon exploring the beaches of Corumba Point and found ourselves a great spot to watch the sunset.
back from the uh, Karumba to Karumba Point walk. It's about three and a half kilometers one way. So 3.8. Had a bit of a look around in the shops in Karumba. Spent too much on a few snacks and sausage rolls and a loaf of bread. And then we got sucked into going into some hippie shop, got some souvenirs. Probably should have started this about an hour before we did. It's starting to get a bit warm now, but we're almost there. 